Hey guys, welcome back to session two of our review. In this session, we're going to change it up a bit and we're going to explore alleles and traits in Venus flytraps. So we're going to watch a video on the Venus flytrap and then we're going to follow up with exploring different traits that enable the Venus flytrap to survive. Venus flytrap. Like the sundew, it makes itself very attractive, oozing nectar across the brim of each leaf. Any visiting insect had better watch out for these six tiny hairs. This fly has to tread carefully. If it strikes one hair, it can carry on feeding, but a timer has been set. A second strike in less than 20 seconds and the fly is doomed. impulse is triggered and the leaf snaps shut in just a fraction of a second. The tips lock together like prison bars. If the fly is very big or very small, it may just manage to escape. But most are trapped and die. So poor little fly, but let's go ahead and explore what happened here a little bit more in depth. So we're going to be focusing on what we're going to label gene A, and it codes for trigger hairs, which is what you saw on the Venus flytrap that activated that time clock between the first touch and when it snapped close. So the trait we're gonna focus on is the length of the trigger hair. So the gene for long trigger hair is dominant, so it's represented by a capital L, to the gene for short trigger hair, which is lowercase l. Cross the parental alleles below to determine if the offspring have a greater probability of having long or short trigger hairs. So I just wanna emphasize the alleles, right? There are different versions of this gene. Again, the different versions of a gene are called alleles. And you have capital L, which is dominant for long trigger hairs versus lowercase l, which is recessive for short trigger hairs. So parent one is homozygous for dominant long trigger hairs. Again, here's a long trigger hair. And parent two has two recessive uh, alleles for trigger hair. So it's going to code for the short trigger hair trait. Now let's go ahead and complete this Punnett square. So we have the first parent up here and parent two on the side. We're going to focus on bringing down capital L from one parent and then lowercase l from the second parent. Same thing for this box. We're going to go up, bring down that dominant allele, and we're going to go to the side and bring that recessive allele 
into this box from parent two. We're gonna do the same from the bottom. We're gonna go up and bring this dominant allele down from parent one. We're gonna to go to the side and bring the recessive allele from parent two over. Final box, up, dominant allele from parent one, side, recessive allele from parent two. And now we have all of our boxes filled. Now let's see what traits these alleles code for, okay? So of course we have a dominant and the dominant always takes over. So if you have one dominant, it's going to show that trait. So we're gonna have a long trigger hairs here, okay? Same thing for the second box, long trigger hairs. Same thing down here, because you have that dominant and it takes over. Long, ah, let me try to fix this. And final box, again, long trigger hairs. So the chances of the offspring inheriting long trigger hairs is 100%, okay? And how do we come to that conclusion? Because the alleles code for a specific trait. So we were able to analyze the Punnett square and determine what the probability would be of inheriting long trigger hairs. So here we have another Punnett square with two different parents who have different genetic makeups. And you can go ahead and complete this Punnett square, which will help you review and fine-tune your Punnett Square skills. Also, it will help you review um, alleles and better understand that they're just different versions of a gene. And you'll practice analyzing what kind of traits these alleles code for, which is pretty much the focus, right, of this lesson, going from alleles to traits. So I wish you the best of luck. I think this is going to be great practice for you. And when you go back to your lesson, it's going to be a piece of cake. Bye, guys.